Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about an exciting new product called NeoCharge. Now, you probably think that this is just a compact charger like these are behind me, but it's not. This is not an EV charger, yet it still helps you charge your EV. Let me explain. The NeoCharge is actually a smart circuit splitter. What it does is it allows you to use one circuit and one outlet to charge multiple electric vehicles. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, one of the reasons could be that you've been a one EV household for a while and you love it so much that you decided to get a second electric car. That's happening more and more now that different types of electric vehicles are becoming available. It was only a few years ago when you either bought a Tesla or a small little hatchback that went 80 to 100 miles <laughs> per charge if you wanted an electric vehicle. But today, we're getting crossovers, SUVs, dynamic sports cars, soon electric pickup trucks. So more and more households are becoming two EV households. So they have one charger in the garage for their one electric car. Now all of a sudden they get their second, second electric car and questions come up as, okay, how are we gonna deal with this? Now, most people don't have a garage that looks like this. If you do, uh, I suggest you meet me at the Charger Anonymous meeting. We have a monthly meeting down at the church. Um, but uh, besides that, uh, what you need to do is figure out a way to charge your second electric car. Now, the first thing you can do is simply share the existing charger. Plenty of people do that, and it works for a lot of families. It doesn't work for everyone. Some people end up trying it out for a little while, and then they find that after a couple months, it's really becoming cumbersome. It's not convenient. One car isn't charged when it needs to be charged. Uh, they arrive home, somebody else just plugged in, so then they forget to plug it in later, and it just doesn't work. So the question is, okay, now how do we deal with this? So. Um, other than just sharing the charger, you could just buy a second charger and install another circuit. That's fine if it only costs you $200, $300 to add another circuit, another outlet. But if that's not always the case, sometimes it might cost thousands of dollars to add another circuit because your house is already at its maximum service capacity. So you need a service upgrade to put in another 50 amp circuit. That's actually more common than people realize. So what do you do at that point? Uh, you probably say, well, I'm not gonna spend four or $5,000 to install another circuit. We have to just figure out how to share this charger. That's not your only solution. Uh, you can also buy a new dual head charger. Some companies like Clipper Creek, for instance, Clipper Creek makes the same unit that we see here, the HCS40, in a dual head unit now. However, it's expensive. It costs about $1,350, which is more than two chargers. And you still have your original charger. What are you gonna do with that once you buy the dual head charger? While that works, it's not ideal because if the dual head charger breaks, now all of a sudden you can't charge either vehicle. So for that reason, I don't think buying a dual head charger is always the best solution to being able to charge two cars. Um, you can get NeoCharge. Now, NeoCharge, what you do is you simply plug this into your outlet. Uh, you have probably have a NEMA 1450 outlet uh, where your existing charging station plugs into. You plug it in and it has two NEMA 1450 plugs on, on either side. So you plug in a charging station on both sides. What NeoCharge will do is intelligently monitor and deliver power to one car at a time. It can deliver power to both cars as long as it doesn't exceed the circuit's maximum capacity. So if it's on a NEMA 1450 outlet, it can deliver up to 40 amps. Let's say you had two Teslas. Teslas can uh, Tesla's allow the owner to set the amperage that the car takes. So you could set each car at 20 amps maximum draw and it'll charge both cars at once. If you don't, you just let it go with the full power. What it'll do is near charge will charge the first car fully. And when that car shuts off, it'll immediately start charging the second car. So you come home at night, you plug the car in, uh, your car's charging, your spouse comes home a half an hour later, they plug in. And when your car's done charging, their car starts charging. So um, NeoCharge can work either way 
either charging both cars at once if you reduce the amperage draw or it'll do one car and then charge the other. It'll save you from having to add another, another outlet or another circuit. Now, NeoCharge isn't inexpensive. This unit actually costs $499. So um, it's not like it's free, but it still costs much less than having to install uh, another circuit and possibly a service upgrade. You do still have to buy another charger though. So, you know, chargers are on the market for three, four hundred dollars all the way up to over a thousand dollars. So it's still going to cost you some money, but it's probably going to be a lot less than having to add a service upgrade or pull another circuit. If your service panel is far from your garage, that can also be expensive because you need to run a uh, thick cable from your service uh, panel to the outlet in order to power a 50 amp circuit. And that can get expensive. So there is one other solution to this problem that I, I don't even like to mention, but I know I have to because people are going to mention it in the comments section. Why don't you just buy a simple RV splitter? Uh, an ex basically a short extension cable where you plug into your outlet and it has two cables that you can plug two things into. I highly recommend that you don't do that. That's an accident waiting to happen. It doesn't monitor the current flow like NeoCharge does. If you make a mistake one night, you're overdrawing your circuit um, in the perfect conditions, nothing really happens. Your circuit just trips, your cars don't charge, you reset it in the morning, you don't have cars charged, but there's no problem. In the worst case situation, you're pulling more current than the circuit can handle, there's a spark, there's a problem inside the outlet or somewhere between the outlet and the service panel, and you have a fire. And you frequently charge your electric car at night when you're in your bedroom sleeping. It's like the worst time where you ever want to have some kind of an electrical problem when you're kind of not being attentive in your sleeping. So I really recommend don't splitting, don't split an outlet with a simple RV splitter. They work for RVs because the current draw is much lower on the appliances that they're running. But electric cars pull a lot of amperage and putting two cars on that and just trusting it is probably not the best way to go. Okay. So I cleaned things up a little bit here and uh, removed some of the chargers from the great wall of chargers and plugged in, actually I installed the NeoCharge. Now I say installed because while you can just plug it in and it will work, what you should do is use the mounting bracket that's supplied with the unit. The mounting bracket actually gets secured to your outlet and then you slide the NeoCharge onto the mounting bracket plug it in in the same motion, and then you use the two thumb screws that are provided with the NeoCharge to secure the unit to the wall. So the reason being is these NEMA 1450 uh, plugs and the cables for them are heavy. And throughout time, the pulling down, the force from pulling down it could pull the NeoCharge from the wall. So these mounting bracket keeps the NeoCharge nice and tightly secured to your NEMA 1450 outlet. So I definitely advise using that. And with the two thumb screws, you can easily remove it if you need to take it off for any reason. So you can see here now I have the NeoCharge installed and I have a Flow Home and an NLX juice box plugged in. They're both plugged in, the lights are functioning on both. I just charged my Tesla Model 3 really quickly with the flow just to make sure everything worked and it does. One thing that I noticed is the side, both sides of the NeoCharge has a blue light when it's plugged in. Like now you can't really see it from the video. Once a car is charging from one of the sides, that light turns green. So you know which vehicle is being charged if you're charging two vehicles at once. Again, this is a 40 amp circuit splitter. It can, it can deliver 9.6 kilowatts to the car uh, or 20 amps to two cars at the same time. So this would be a setup that you would have if you had two EVs, which is what we've been talking about so far. But it's not the only use case for NeoCharge. Many first time EV buyers can use NeoCharge. That's if they have an existing, say, appliance outlet in their garage. Many people have a uh, 
a wash machine or dryer or electric water heater in their garage and they have either a NEMA 1430 or a NEMA 1030 outlet. Now that's a 30 amp outlet. It can only deliver 24 amps uh, of service continuously because it's 80% of the circuit's rating. However, that's 24 amps is still fine to charge an electric car for most instances. So if you have a uh, NEMA 1430 or 1030 outlet in your garage, powering an appliance, you can get the Neo Charge. Now you can power the appliance and your EV. You don't have to install, uh, go through the expense of having a new circuit and a new outlet installed. And in many instances, like we said earlier, people can't, their, their house is at the maximum capacity, can't add another 240 dedicated circuit, 30 amp or 40 amp circuit. You just can't do it without a service upgrade, which is many thousands of dollars. So if you have a, a, a appliance outlet in your garage, a 240 volt appliance outlet, you can use NeoCharge to power your appliance and your EV. I actually think that's what the, the founders of NeoCharge started out with the idea of, of making a device so that people don't have to install a new outlet in their garage, but then the fact that it can do two EVs also kind of came secondary. Uh, so, you know, this will work just fine. The only thing you'll have to do is you will have to get a adapter uh, so that your NEMA 1450 charger can plug into the 1430 or 1410 plugs on the side of the Neo Charge. You would get the Neo Charge that matches the plug that you have at your home. You wouldn't buy the 1450 one, it wouldn't plug in. So they have the NEMA 1450, the NEMA 1430, and the NEMA 1410 are all available at the Neo Charge site. You buy the one that will fit your existing outlet. Or if you're doing an entire new installation and you just want to do one circuit, then do the NEMA 1450 and you've got a little bit more power. One thing I want to correct from earlier that I said um, when you buy the Neo Charge, you still need to buy another charger. Many people do if they're going to charge the second car, but not if you have a Tesla or some other EVs because Teslas actually include a level two charger with the car. It's the, the mobile connector. The only thing you have to then do is buy the NEMA 1450 uh, adapter from Tesla, which I think costs $35 your order through the website. Uh, so, you know, in the beginning when electric cars first came out 10, 11 years ago, they all came with a 120 volt level one uh, slow charger. And uh, in that case, every, pretty much everybody had to upgrade and buy a level two charger like what you see on the wall here. But Tesla has always supplied standard with the car a level two charger. So if you do buy a Tesla, you don't have to buy one of these units because you can use your, your, your mobile connector to do your everyday charging. If you bought two Teslas, you could have the Neo Charge and the two mobile connectors uh, attached to this. The only thing I'd recommend then is they sell a uh, a holder for the mobile connector that you can put on your wall. You really don't want it hanging all the time. So they sell this nice plastic holder. It's not expensive. And you'd mount that to the wall, put the mobile connectors on them, plug them into the two sides of NeoCharge. And there you go. You've got your two chargers for your two Teslas. But Tesla's not the only company that is supplying level two chargers with their cars. Audi does now with the e-tron. Um, Ford is going to be doing with the Mustang Mach-E. So not, not all EVs just come with a very slow level one charger anymore. So check the car that you have. You might not have to buy any home charging equipment. If you, even if you have two EVs, you might just get one circuit, plug in the near charge, and plug your two supplied charging equipment that came with your car to them. Uh, so that works fine. And if, if you have either uh, the appliance with one uh, EV and one appliance or two EVs. Either way, as long as you've got an adapter for the 1450 or 1430 or 1410, whatever your unit is, you can use your charger with that. Um, one other thing I want to note, note is that the Neo Charge is for indoor use only. You can't use it with an outside outlet. It's only good for use indoors. It is safety certified though and is UL listed, which is important that you know that it's been thoroughly inspected and it's safe. After all, you're, you're buying this to be safe and uh, so you want to make sure the unit is and it is safety certified. Uh, the dual uh, EV or dual appliance uh, Neo Charge is available at Neo Charge's website. The 40 volt dual EV unit is $499. The 
24 volt dual appliance is 449 so it's fifty dollars less and it is lower power uh, if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below and if you like what we're doing here on state of charge don't forget to hit that subscribe button at the bottom thanks for joining